the No Fade channel, checking in. And on today's episode of Dad's Gadgets, we've got an ultimate Thunderdome. I'm going to be comparing Amazon's rechargeable batteries to Ray Home's rechargeable batteries. And we're going to talk about the pros and cons. And I'm going to explain to you where rechargeable batteries make an excellent choice for your electronics. Let's get into it. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, hit that subscribe button right down below. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps out this channel. I am dedicated to helping you dads and moms um, be great parents to your kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. Part of that involves money. As we know, money makes the world go round and that's why I tend to have these dads gadget series where I review gadgets, things that come across my desk, things that I use fairly often to help you decide if it's going to be something that you can benefit from, something that's going to help your lifestyle, your way of living, and most importantly, something that's worth your hard-earned money. So before we even get into the comparison, where are rechargeable batteries good for, okay? We know that they're not good for every instance, and I will tell you right now, if you have something that you use very often, if you have something that takes a lot of juice, like as an example, a headlamp, right? A headlamp when you go outside and do the driveway or you go hiking. If you have um, a flashlight for emergency situations, you don't want to use rechargeable batteries for that. You don't want to use rechargeable batteries for anything that takes a lot of juice um, because frankly, they're not going to work nearly as well as those Duracells that you paid an arm and a leg for over at CVS. What these are really good for, at least in my opinion, is for stuff that you don't use that often or doesn't have a huge amount of juice. And the reason I think these are good because you save a lot of money in the long run. So I'm going to give you examples of where I'm using these in my kids' toys. My kids' toys don't take a lot of juice, so to speak, with regards to what they're pulling from the batteries. But the big problem with the kids' batteries is they leave them on. Or what's worse is they think that they're off, they're face down, and that battery's just going the whole night, the whole night. Next thing you know, the kid uses the toy. you got to put brand new batteries in that. The other place I love to use these is the remote controls. Similar situation, the remote controls take up almost no juice. Oftentimes, you probably can't remember the last time you changed the batteries on your remote control. But every once in a while, if you don't put the remote control down correctly, or if your stinking kids put something on top of the remote control, that remote control is just running all day, all night, and the batteries get drained, and you're on the hook for, again, expensive batteries that are just turning on the TV. So um, another final way I want to give you as an example is I have um, lights in my closets. The closets don't have very good lighting, so I have these motion sensor lights that take like AAA batteries. They don't take a lot of juice. They're hardly ever used. Only when you open the closet door, you come in, the lights turn on, right? That's a great place to put in these rechargeable batteries because it doesn't take a lot of juice, and it's not really an emergency situation that you need to have that closet light on um, in a pinch. The biggest benefit with regards to both the Amazon and the Ray Home Charger is that they both take AA and AAA batteries. So whether you want to only use AA or you want to only use AAA, or if you want to get both mix and match, you don't have to buy a separate charger. Another nice thing about these chargers, even though they can be expensive, the Amazon one comes in at $16 and the Ray Home one comes in at $21. And those prices are subject to change, is that once you buy them, You've got them, and they're going to last you a long, long time. Um, so let's talk about pros and cons with regards to the specific chargers. The Amazon Basics rechargeable charger is just that, basic. But let's go over some of the pros and cons. Big pro on this one, probably the number one pro for me, is that the plug is attached to the charger. It simply switches down. When you want to charge, you switch it up, you plug it in, and you're good to go. You don't have to find the charger and the charger cord, which, if you like my kids and my lifestyle, we got more cords than we know what to do with, and none of them match. Um, another nice benefit of this charger is it has a USB plug on the side, so if you happen to be taking up an outlet, you can still kind of charge something on the side with that USB plug. One of the downsides with regards to this charger is that you only can charge four batteries at once. So when you first get a whole bunch of batteries, it is a nuisance to charge them all up. I will say that when I charge batteries after they've been used the first time, I tend to only charge two or four batteries at once. How do you know if it's charged or not? You put the batteries in and it goes from red to green, on and off, simple as that. So when it's red, it's charging. When it's green, you're good to go. Now, conversely, the Ray Horm one is more money. It comes in at $21, but it has a few more bells and whistles. As you can see, 
you can charge more batteries at once. So if you've got a big household or you don't want to be standing around waiting for four batteries to charge and then four more batteries to charge, you can get something like this. Also, what you probably can't tell is that this actually has a little bit of an LED screen. So when you put these batteries in, it will tell you how much charge there are in there and then how much charge there is to go. So you get an idea of when these are fully charged, especially if you're doing like six or seven batteries at once, you know which ones are charged and you can take out and reuse and which ones you still have to leave in to keep charging. Now, one of the side, side effects or downsides of this charger is that it has a cord. Not that big of a deal. Most chargers like this will have a cord. However, as you can imagine, the more electronics you get, the more cords you get, you have to know where both of these cords are and make sure that you have the right cord for the right charger. Now for the rechargeable batteries themselves, um, I'm going to put a price point as of today, as of shooting this video and editing it today, boom, right up here, the price per battery that I was able to find on Amazon for the Ray Home and for the Amazon Basics, both in the AA and the AAA, to give you an idea of which would actually be cheaper per battery, assuming you were going to buy in bulk. Um, with that said, there's probably not going to be much of a financial difference between the two. Um, I did buy AAA with the Ray Home, and I did buy AA with the Amazon Basics. Probably not the best thing you should do. Ideally, you see a video like this, and you get all of one kind, so that you only have to buy one charger, and you're good to go on that kind. As far as longevity of these, which is actually better for a company, I have no idea, and I don't know anyone who's actually done the research to say that the Amazon Basics is better than the Ray Home, or they're not exactly made in the same factory, and they just slap a different label on them. I will say one of the nice things about these rechargeable batteries is that they're rechargeable. So when they run out, especially if you're using them in non-important um, items, you just charge them back up again. Now they do have a lifespan over the course of four or five years, depending on what you're using and how quickly you charge them up. They're not going to hold the charge very long. So obviously you're going to get a feel for when these get old. One of the nice things about the rechargeable batteries versus regular batteries, these can be recycled. So definitely don't throw them away, hold on to them and recycle them. They can be recycled, but once they go bad, hold on to them, and you just buy brand new ones. Um, if I had to make a pick uh, with respect to whether I would go with the Ray Home batteries or the Amazon Basics, I'd probably just go with was ever cheaper. I wouldn't give it too much thought. However, I would say if you buy one charger, don't do what I do. Stick with that battery. So buy one charger and stick with all Amazon Basic batteries, or buy the Ray Home charger and stick with all Ray Home batteries. Um, overall, I just think that as a parent, I think that as this person who uses a lot of electronics with respect to batteries, you're probably better off financially making that initial investment, kind of pulling that bandaid off initially and going with the rechargeable batteries, especially for your non-essential items. As an example, I use rechargeable batteries in my Tascam DR05 um, because it doesn't use that much juice. It and so again, and I know when it comes to, and it shows me the battery life. So when I know it's down to like one third of the battery life, I pull these rechargeable batteries out and just give them another charge. Overall, it's gonna save me a ton of money rather than trying to go down to CVS or Walmart, buying in bulk, making sure that I use them and then doing the, the head scratching noise of, you know, do I get the Duracell, the good name ones or the no name ones? Do I get the dollar brand? Listen, get the rechargeable batteries, use them in non-essential items. You are gonna be glad that you did there, I said it. Hopefully you found this informative. I'm going to put Amazon affiliate links to everything that I have in this video in the description below. How does that work? If you click on the link, it brings you to the Amazon site where this stuff is located. You can review it for yourself, see if you're interested. If you buy any of it, it helps me out. How does it help me out? It takes a little bit of money out of Amazon's pockets, puts it in my pocket, and helps me keep the light lights on. Trust me, Amazon's not going to miss it. Now, if you've come this far in the video, then you know what to do. Give this video a like, Hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below, and let me know which rechargeable battery set you're going to go with or which rechargeable battery set you're already using and you would recommend to other people. Drop it in the comments below. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.